Hi, this video is about the aliasing and moray issues on the Canon uh, 600D, or as I know, the T3i. I first noticed this, um, others have noticed it, of course, but I first noticed it really egregiously on my backyard deck when I was filming something, got inside, and even with the sharpness set to zero, which it is here, the moray is uh, really bad on the wood grain on the deck. Um, I don't didn't find that you know, the sharpness made that much of a big deal on it, so I set the sharpness up to three just to test it out, but as you can see, the moray is, um, is pretty bad on this deck no matter what. So um, others have observed on the web about the T3i zoom feature and how it uses um, a, a small part of the sensor, um, and my hope was, and, and my guess was here, that it would eliminate the moray issues. And so what I did is I took my Tokina 11 to 16 millimeter zoom lens, uh, put it on 16 millimeter optical zoom, and then di used the three times digital zoom on the T3i. And the results, I think, are, are uh, perfect here. It uh, gets rid of uh, the moray issues. There's, a, a, of course, a um, loss in terms of there's a, a deeper uh, depth of field here. But um, as far as I'm concerned, this is very practical, and I can use it um, to get, you know, even a wider shot if I use the 11 millimeter optical zoom, even at three times, that's roughly the equivalent of a, a 33 millimeter. So on this next frame, what I do is compare the 50 millimeter. Um, I uh, zoomed in on the, um, the frame on the Tokina, where I had roughly the equivalent of a 40 millimeter, um, the three times 16 millimeter. But I made them equivalent, and you can see here um, that I think you know the, the results are quite stunning. So for me, this is a practical way to uh, uh, to get around the uh, moray issues on the T3i. Hope you like it. Thanks.